In this lesson, we're going to use 3D sketches to create some swept pipes. You can open this part from your Infinite Skills Working Files directory for Chapter 6. It is called 0602 Sweeping Pipes. Let's get started. Open a 3D sketch in this part. And the first thing we need to do is draw a line that goes from the center of this hole and connects to the end of this pipe. So I'm just going to start by drawing a line that's in the right orientation, but probably in the wrong location. Notice that my sketch plane right now is XY. I want to change it to YZ, so I'll use the tab key to do that. And I'll just draw a line that goes straight along the Z axis. And then another one that goes straight in the Y axis. And then another one that goes along the X axis. I'll have to change sketch planes again to do that. Press tab on the keyboard and drag along the X. Now that I've got all the lines that I need, I need to just get them in the right locations. I'm going to press Escape on the keyboard to get rid of the Sketch tool. Click on the endpoint of this line and this circular edge. This enables me to make that point concentric with the circle. And now I need to make this point and Control click on this face, make them coincident. In 3D Sketch, that's called an on-plane relationship. Now I've got one end of my tube set up, so let's do the other end. Click on this point, click on this edge, make coincident, make concentric, and then the point itself and the face, and make on-plane. Now I need to add some fillets. These will be one inch fillets. One inch will be too big, so let's make them half inch. And we can spin that around to see what it looks like. This looks right. Now, a sweep is a feature that's made up of two sketches, at least. You have a path and a profile. The 3D sketch we have just created is going to be used as the path. The next sketch we have to create is the profile. So I'm going to exit the 3D sketch. The profile sketch needs to be right on the end of the path. So we could sketch it on this end or on this end. In either case, we have existing faces we can take advantage of. The easiest method is going to be to open a sketch on this end Use Convert Entities to pick up the edge to turn into a sketch. And then to exit the sketch. Because the sweep is made from two sketches, you can't make the sweep while inside either sketch. So I'm going to now start the sweep feature from the Features tab on the Command Manager. The profile sketch was already selected, so it went automatically into the selection box. And now I select the path box and the 3D sketch to make the path. And that's all there is for that tube. Let's make another tube that comes from this end, goes through this connector, and out this hole. Start a 3D sketch line. I can pick up the center of this circle directly come along the x-axis, down the y-axis, tab along the z-axis, and then I'm going to draw a line that's not got any particular relationship, but I want it on a different plane. So let's put it on the x-y plane and make sure it doesn't pick up an along x or along y or z. Tab again and make this line go along the z-axis. Now again, when you draw lines in 3D space, it can be misleading. So if you swivel around at this point, you see that the sketch looks different from a different point of view. Again, I'm going to click on this point, 
click on circular edge, make it concentric, clear the selection, click this point, control click this face on surface. There's a temporary axis that goes through the center of all cylindrical faces. So I'll go up here and turn on temporary axes. Make this line and the temporary axis collinear. I can push this line down somewhat. Notice since it doesn't have any relations, dragging it is rather hard to control. So I'll have to control that later with dimensions. Everything else is correct other than this line. So to make sure that this line is on a plane that's parallel to this face, there's a couple of ways we can do that, but here's how I'm going to handle it. I'm going to use a dimension from this face of the connector to the endpoint. Give that a one inch dimension. And then I'll create another dimension from the same face to this point and give that also a one inch dimension. Another method would have been to create a perpendicular relationship between these two lines, and that would have forced the same geometry, still requiring a dimension though. Again, add some fillets. Half inch seems good. Exit the 3D sketch. This time, let's use a different method to create a profile. I'll click on this line, control click on its endpoint, and then use the plane feature to create a plane that's perpendicular to the curve and coincident to the endpoint. And then open a sketch on that new plane, draw a circle. Centered on the origin. Add a dimension, 0.5. Exit the sketch. Initiate the sweep. Select the profile. Select the path. And say OK. You can turn off temporary axes at this point. And my tubing looks the way I intended it to. SOLIDWORKS does have a piping, tubing, and wiring module, but for something as simple as this, that wouldn't be needed. In the next lesson, we'll talk about flexible tubing or wiring.